Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Last episode we entered the dreams of Nyrissa and we discovered a bit more about King Irovedi, um, which apparently his secrets are in this abbey which we just floated into. And you'll notice that we have Lindsay with us. Uh, I didn't notice that it changed her out for Ekin, so we're just going to take her with us. Let's fix this. There we go. Um, shouldn't be too big of a deal though. I don't have it on, I have it on a pretty low difficulty, if not the lowest. Let me double check that. Um, yeah, I have it on a very low difficulty. Um, mainly due to, uh, I just want to know the story. I'm not too worried about the combat. Where tiger? Interesting. What troubles you? I know what to do. Um, cast bless. Let's. Um, fires is usually a pretty good uh, choice. This six here. Okay. Well, that's casting. We'll go with this. Lord Large Amiri. Okay. Um, what else am I... do I need? Probably just gonna cast disintegrate on this greater wear tiger as a star. Interesting. It didn't kill. Almost killed though, but it didn't kill. Let's cast this here. Tail of Shelburne is pretty strong. There's a bunch of were animals. Mm, let's see here. Let's just cast prayer. Looks like we triggered a trap. Yeah. There's a lot of very dangerous enemies in here, though. Sorry, one second. Uh, there we go. for this. Damn, that didn't do that much. Hmm. Should I just summon uh I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna summon a You know what I haven't seen a greater earth elemental yet, so let's summon him. Oh, he's a chonky boy. But it looks like the Pataxian Wardens are more or less uh, animals, like they're were creatures. Okay. This. That was fucking 
ancient barbarians get like trucks. Like they just double killed there. I think a large person is always going to be good. Like, damn. She'll live. Oh, wait, we have a. We do. We have immunity to fire. But yeah, of course she's going to live. It's not really going to damage her at all. Hurting him. He's taking some sort of damage. Not sure what it is though. Um, guess we'll just go for arrow shots. Looks like this is the last guy left. Yeah, I'm not surprised he didn't do much. This barbarian is gonna fucking annihilate it. Oh wow, he didn't. Oh wow, she shot like crazy. Mm, masterwork. Okay, let's just take all that. Okay. Take, take, take. Take, take. We haven't fought many were rats in a, quite a while, to be if honest. There's gold, it's mine. Ring of Chaos. Hold up. This ring grants its wearer plus four deflection to AC and continuous freedom of movement spell effect. Only chaotic characters can equip it. She already has that. Um, I guess it'll go. It'd be good on Myri. She is chaotic. Take it all. So we can get moving. What's that glitter? To victory! Gardener? Is he turning people into monsters? I don't, I'm really Step confused on what's going on. Hit this guy. Yeah, I missed. The looks of them are pretty cool though. Like wear tigers. Okay, uh... Let's go with this. Guy on that guy, the other two, I guess they get through. Uh, it, didn't, it just didn't get through their spell, their spell protection, or whatever. God, more lightning! Stop, just don't use lightning. Oh, I healed him. I healed those guys. Whatever. Okay. 
Damn, that hit pretty hard. Oh, uh, it's Octavia's turn. You can't this. stop me. Cover me. <laughs> Damn, you can't even hit her. That's funny. She's big as shit, and you still can't hit her. You she fires so fast with that. Wow, they don't even trigger that trap. That is awesome. Fuck it, Amari, just trigger it. Ooh, that is probably the worst. That was the worst thing I could have gotten. And it's just, they're just attacking Amari. You're fucking killing Octavia. Come on. Octavia's turn again. Alrighty. I don't think she can hit me. Yeah. Um. I just skip my turn like a dummy. Don't kill Amiri. They can definitely kill Amiri. Like that is not out of the realm of possibility for them. Thank God, they're just shooting arrows now. Not fucking using their lightning bolts while in the back line. Jesus. Okay, he should die on his turn. Who is he's going for? What level is the gardener? Ten. No. Fifteen. Um. This is for you. This. Your death awaits. Wow. Can I hit? Um. Is there anything I can use to get her out of this? I don't want to blind her because it's just whole person. Nope. She's gonna get down. Let's just down her. Oops, Bowery. Oh, there we go. Bowery's fine. Nope, she's not. She just got fucking rinsed. Let's try this way. I guess summons don't care if uh if they attack a target once, they'll always attack that target. Nice. Um first things first. Heal up. I don't know if another fight will start, so we don't want to risk it. I know I'm using a lot of healing here, but that's fine. Let's just take everything, to be honest. Singing Edge. Whenever the wielder of this plus three long spear becomes affected by a bardic performance, an enhancement bonus increases to plus five and grants its wielder a plus two dodge bonus to AC. Pretty good melee, um, bard. Did she just break it? 
Vendra. The beautiful Nereid is be deathly pale. She shudders as you approach. I know you. You're her hound. I have a message for you. The Nereid freezes and stares forward with unseeing eyes. When she speaks again, it's not with her voice, but another. One you recognize all too well. Just two more to make a thousand. Two more grains, and my cup will be full. I care not who makes it first. You and your lands, my hound, or Pitax and its ruler. The time draws near, so enjoy yourselves or fight, or celebrate your victory. Each step you take is one more toward my triumph. Take the tool per promised to you the way to here, at the bottom of the lake in the abbey. But bear in mind, my peacock already knows you have revealed his secret. He is terrified, and he will soon make his move. What was the tool Narissa spoke of? A dark seeker is hidden in these depths, the remains of victims of a treacherous murderer. Side by side, they lie at the bottom of the lake. The offspring of four noble Pataxian families, Isenza, Katanai, Vassarai, and Strobe Kali. I know little of the games mortal monarchs play, but I've watched the Arbeti for a long time. He fears these bones will be recovered and draw the vengeance of their living relatives. That's why Narissa told you where- Oh. I know why now. Um, so Irovedi took four, took hostages from each of the four noble families to become king of the pit of Pitax, um, and he killed them um, and hid them. But the family still think that he has them as hostages. Uh, he fears these bones will be recovered and draw vengeance of their living relatives. That is why Nars told you where to search for the bodies. She also told him you would come to retrieve them. Two rulers at each other's strokes is exactly what she needs. Narissa, dear cousin, what have you become? Who are you? Why do you speak with Narissa's voice? I am Avindra. I've spent many years serving my cousin Narissa as her living tool, a channel for her voice, and as a gift to her peacock, King Irovedi. Through me, he com could communicate with her. Why would Narissa do this to you? It is a long story. Though you surely know much of it already. Long ago, my dear sweet cousin was different. But then a curse fell upon her and it changed her completely. It's been a long time since I could recognize Narissa, our once proud, brave, and visionary leader. The curse deprived her of her heart, and her first victims were her sisters, the nymphs, and myself. It was this strain, that strange halfling that attacked me at the entrance. The gardener, that's how he was known. The madman was obsessed with me and Yerovedi exploited that weakness of his to turn him into the most loyal of his guardians. I do not wish to speak more of him. Thank you for sharing this information. Farewell. Wait, I beg you. Please take me with you, Queen. Let me live in your capital. I will repay you by telling you all I know. I... I want to help you. And I want to help Nairisa too. If anyone can break the curse, it must be you. Uh, one second here. Um, uh, I would advise against it. Time and again we have witnessed treachery from those of the first world. We cannot place trust in their desire to repent and aid us. We have had one of them help us though. Alright, I may have need of further information. Thank you for your kindness. Let's dive into the lake steps. The underground lake looks into its like looks like a silver mirror. The reflections on its surface are so clear that you can make out every wrinkle in your clothes and the individual strands of your hair. What you can't make out though is anything that may be hidden beneath the water. Let's dive in. You dive into the lake. You once more notice the silvery quality of the, of the water, as though it's been imbued with light, or perhaps radiates it. The thing hidden by the placid shimmering are horrible. Below your feet at the bottom of the lake float at least two dozen corpses. Two dozen? The dead seem to stare at you, some with the empty sockets of hollow skulls, and others with nightmarish dead eyes. One body floats past you, and you feel a small metal object fall into your hand. It looks like a signet ring. Okay, we succeeded. I really didn't expect you, to be honest, because we don't have, um... We don't have... <clears throat> Ekin with us. One of the dead bodies was a, wears a purple bell. Another is clad in a black vest with bright green embroidery. You easily recognize the insignias of the four trade houses. There are dead bodies here, from all the great families that once ruled Pitax. 
Let's dive deeper. You dive deeper and deeper, pushing yourself until you feel the bottom of the lake beneath your hands. And something more, something metallic. A dagger lies beside the body of a young blonde man. The weapon is in perfect condition, despite its submersion. It may be a trick of the mind, but as you leave, the dead man's body shifts. And it seems almost like a nodded farewell, like the man wishes you luck and hopes to be avenged. What was that ring? I mean that dagger. Dark wind. This de plus four dagger grants his bleeder a plus five bonus to stealth skill check, increases sneak attack damage bonus damage with any weapon by one d6. Well, we know who that's going on. That's fucking going on her. We're gonna put this in her hand too. Put that there. Put that there. All right. Um, this is a good part, good um, stopping point. So we're gonna end the episode here. Um, next episode, um, we're gonna be heading over to the to Pitax, uh, the capital of Irovedi. All right. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.